You know, there was talks about Brandon Reels fight for this fight. Tim told me he passed on that, chose Jesse instead. Is that a still a fight that could happen, Joe? I mean, I know that you're talking about Brandon Reels maybe being on the undercard of this fight. Uh, what do you think of that fight, and does that interest you guys next? Not, not looking ahead, of course. You know, uh, when they mentioned Brandon Reels, uh, I said, you know what, let's take it. You know, honestly, no disrespect to Brandon and his team. Um, when Brandon was, when Brandon was uh, in his prime, I mean, three years ago, I mean, uh, I felt he was a big threat. But right now, honestly, he has um, slowed down a lot. I mean, his ability, everything is, uh, his, his reflexes are slower. Um, to beat Brandon Rios, it doesn't take a lot. All you have to do is just box him, you know. He's a, a one-dimensional fighter. But, um, you know, if that fight can happen, I will be more than happy to take on a fight like that, you know. But you're not going to see a Tim Bradley get in there with, with, uh, with a Brandon Rios in exchange. You're not. And the most important thing about preparing for a fight like Brandon Reels is don't let Brandon Reels get under your skin. Just stick to your plan and ignore everything he says because if you get carried away by Brandon Reels and then you make it a dogfight and you get in trouble.